At the cathedral's four o'clock service this afternoon, a large crowd came to sing with great joy. All day long, crowds have come here to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But away from the cathedral's grand sanctuary, tucked away in a corner, sits the children's chapel, which includes a reminder that some are mourning instead of celebrating this year. A, I can't imagine losing a child. Uh, B, I can't imagine losing a child this close to Christmas. On the altar stands 20 angels, one for every child killed only a week and a half ago in Newtown, Connecticut. They are little angels, and this is the best representation that anyone could possibly give. Peggy Fuller was moved to tears. She hopes families having their first Christmas since losing their child know that the country is thinking of them. People truly care and truly are praying for them. Volunteers made the angels, hoping they would be a simple yet powerful way to remember the children who died. We all felt that it was a very fitting um, and sort of gentle reminder of the tragedy that had happened. It is overwhelming, but it's also magnificent and beautiful that people come together at this time to remember the lives of the children. And now they're with the Lord, and they're in a safe place. They don't have to deal with that anymore. If you would like to see the memorial to the Sandy Hook victims, there is still time. The cathedral plans to display it until January 6th. In Northwest, Tom Rousey, News Channel 8.